Yeah, just before we, I guess, talk footy, um, I think it's important that um, I speak about why we came together at the start of the game and united as two teams. And I guess what we were looking to do there was use our platform to, to bring an awareness to um, equality, respect for women, um, and to basically say, you know, when it comes to domestic violence, enough's enough. And so that's why the groups came together at the start of the game. Yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, we've been sitting together and talking about it. The players, you know, we feel that was a that was a really good performance. Well rounded. Um, you know, we talk about by design. We're up against a very good side. We knew the game had to play out a certain way, and, and we were able to to get it um, to do that. So you know, it may have looked scrappy on the telly, and it couldn't have been more perfect from our point of view. Um, so, yeah, really pleasing all-round performance. So that was a deliberate ploy to make it a bit scrappy? Oh, I, as I mentioned, the team we played against are a very, very good football side and there, were, there was a way we wanted to go in and, and get the game. Um, we started really well. I thought we threw the first punch and that sort of set us up. We had the ascendancy from that point, which made a few things uh, challenging for our opposition. And then it was a grind. You know, we, we knew they'd come and they have done that against... You know, every side they've come up against. So, um, but for our guys to just dig in and um, and get it done in the end it was really pleasing. I thought it was a really mature performance. It seems like you had a lot of um, success early on, especially with countering, but like kind of countering for our way. Was that kind of the weakness you identified coming into the game? No, not a, not a weakness. No, it's a strength of ours. If if we if we stick to our values and we understand, you know, when it's time to go and. And when it's time, you know, maybe to take a little less risk, uh, you know, we're a very good side. And I thought tonight the balance of that was spot on. Um, you know, we, we played the game really well, depending on the scenario. So that's that's probably the reason I'm, I'm so pleased for the group, because it was a really mature performance. One that uh, takes more than just, you know, crashing in and winning contests. It takes actually understanding and having a connection or cohesion as a group. So... A big step forward for us. But you're in such a territory team and that's part of the thing. I think you're going to be able to come out the other side, come out the other side, come out the other side, I think they had us in the territory for the majority of the night. Um, <clears throat> again, a, a weapon of theirs. Um, and sometimes you've you've got to come in with a plan that you feel is going to be able to keep you in the game or, or, or get the result for you in the end. And... Tonight we did that. It's just belief. It's yeah, the belief's there, but it's and it's probably one Solly might be able to talk about as a young player. You, you can believe in yourselves, and but it's it's when you actually have results and outcomes that go your way because of the way you've just you know you've gone about it. Um, it's, it's more reinforcing. You learn so much from when you lose games of footy, but when you win them in a, in a way that you went into the game with, it's even more rewarding and brings a lot more belief. So from our point of view, yeah, we came into the game tonight, we, we're not worried about the record, you know, how many wins and losses we'd had, but we knew we were playing some decent footy. Tonight just backs that up for us. Um, and I think I've mentioned it before, it's amazing you know, the difference between coming off and when winning and losing, the feeling in the rooms and... I think the boys are a bit up and about. Yeah. Well, I thought I thought our backs were outstanding. I, you know, Keen, Keen, Worrell. I, I probably shouldn't mention individuals because I, I thought they did such an amazing job as a as a group. You know, Butts coming back in, um, they were just ruthless. Right throughout the night, they they never gave up. I don't know what the inside fifty was, but it was really close to sixty odd they had, and for a group to hold up under that. But I thought it was also a combination of how that ball went inside fifty. You know, it was messy. Um, it does make it harder for our opposition to score when it's messy. So that that comes back to our midfield and our forward group putting pressure on 
It's the reason why you know, Solly wins the medal is because he's one of those midfielders that just fought all day in there for us. And if it, if we didn't win the contest in around stoppage, it, it, it wasn't coming out of their shoulders out too often. And we know if you do, if you allow Port Adelaide to do that, they're just they're too good for you to stop. Is, is there a more improved player in the competition this year than the next year? Oh, I think he's had a, a fantastic month of footy. <clears throat> There's a lot more upside still to come. Um, but yeah, really pleased, you know, that he's. He's getting reward for, for the work that he's done. You know, he's a professional. Um, he's, he's always wanting to learn. And so, you know, you get what you deserve. I thought tonight was, was a performance that he's now put out probably for a month. Um, tonight was a big one, though, in a, in a big game. Going back to Keane, I mean, this is the guy this time last year was in the staff. We were probably didn't know if maybe was that big around in Australia and go back to Ireland. I mean, since he's come in, he's Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's. <clears throat> you talk about upside. Um, he's he's still learning the game, Keeney, and you know he's having huge jobs. You know, no bigger than tonight. Um, and he just keeps getting better. And so I hope that's a trend because uh, I think he's still got a fair way to go. How did you see the game with Daniel Curtin tonight? Really pleased with how Dan went. Um, I thought earlier it was really hot. You know, Port's pressure was right up. <clears throat> He was involved in that, uh, you know, as one of those defenders I'm talking about. <clears throat> and in the end, when we talk about Keane and Worrell, Butts and so on, well, Dan Curtin's name sits in there as well. He was as important. He had some real key moments where he just, you know, they're simple things, but it's just executing the skill when he had to. Um, in the end, we, we made the sub. We had a 250 gamer sitting on the bench, uh, fresh, ready to go. Um, so the plan coming in, if everything went to plan, was it was likely going to be one of our defenders. And... And a young lad who'd, who'd played his role to that point and done a fantastic job. Um, you know, we couldn't be more pleased with, with what he did tonight for three quarters. Why was it Daniel's name that was in the end the player that was sunk? Was it a tired thing? Was it just because it was his obviously being catered for him? What was the decision there? No, it was just it was around a group that were going really well and, and more so the experience that was ready to come onto the ground. Um, you know, we we call our sub the impact player. We wanted to impact the game. And I thought Brady Smith came on and impacted and brought some experience to that group as well in a crucial time where we were looking to hang on. Saw a text from Portuguese almost at the end there. Big night for somebody in the club. Were you able to harness some of that energy and play the energy? Yeah, we, we were. There's no doubt. We, I mean, the stuff that we were able to um, go through this week, you know, having Sloaney speak to the group. Um, and be able to sit through what he values and what his career meant to him and what the football club meant to him. I think it made an impact, and you know, you may ask Solly that after after me because he's a player now. But <clears throat> there are not too many players in the league that have the values that he does, and they're so consistent on and off the field. And so, for us to be able to hear those and for him to voice them with emotion about what the game meant to him, I think it was huge, and we were able to use a bit of that pre-game today and I'd say, a lot, I'd say 23 of our players came off the ground today saying they lived the values that Rory Sloan played 16 years of footy with which is really pleasing. Do you feel like you've got a bit of mental edge over your rivals now? Three in a row and four of the last five? Oh, not at all. We, I mean, we, we go into every game no matter who the opposition is that we want to work on you know, what our strengths are. It's more about what we're working on at the moment. Um, yeah, it's super exciting, obviously, uh, to be alongside those great names that have obviously played for Crows and Port. Um, so I'm super excited, but you, you know, can't do it without Crouch and Laddie and Dawson in the midfield. Um, I thought they were super tonight, and um, they really helped me get to where I am now. So it's good. Aside from midfield opportunity, mate, how have you been able to take your game to this next level? Um, a lot of time in the gym in the off season, just trying to get a little bit stronger. Uh, a lot of mental stuff as well. We've got a new psychologist, Rosie, who came in at the start of this year. Um, she's been super, super good for me. She's um, just um, sit me down, just live, um, live in the moment a bit more. So she's been good. Just in the context of the season, Jake, I mean, everyone's important, but that, that's a massive result. Take away the showdown and that aspect of it. Yeah, it sort of puts you back in the yeah, absolutely. And it is important not to get too ahead of ourselves. We want to obviously win um, lots of games in a row. So 
Um, we'll go back and review it and then probably move on from there, I'd say. What does that do for your confidence level? Um, yeah, it's obviously nice to win it, but like I've got a lot of respect for those guys. They're obviously great midfielders, some of the best in the comp. So um, to come alongside them and just even play on them is pretty surreal still, I reckon. Did you say in the cup before you were keeping the medal in your job for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> I did actually because I was running around the ground, so didn't want to um, lose it. You found it the right though. Yeah, found it. Found <laughs> it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. What a <laughs>